Hello, Star Wars fans and collectors. Today, we're going to be looking at something very special. This is the Black Series Darth Vader helmet from Hasbro and, of course, officially licensed by Disney. As you can see, it actually comes in several different parts, just like, very similar to the actual helmet we see in, uh, in the movies. And it promises to be quite a collectible. Um, this retails right now on Amazon for $100, and I guarantee uh, this is going to be worth uh, hundreds of dollars, five or six hundred dollars in, uh, in a few years. Um, it says all kinds of interesting things on here. It says, um, realistically detailed interior and exterior reproduction of Darth Vader's iconic helmet. Movie accurate assembly and ventilation sound effects. Authentic multi-piece helmet with adjustable fit. Magnetic connection points for the pieces. And you can see there are several pieces. So we have the, uh, the collar piece. We've got the, the, uh, the piece that, uh, without the top helmet, just the mask, I guess you'd call it. And then there's the, uh, the helmet itself that will go on top of that. So I'm very excited to take a look at this. I've been saving it. I haven't looked at it myself. I've been waiting for you. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, and get right to it. Now I'm going to open it up right here. Now I have a, a little mat knife. And um, I always have a mat knife and a pair of diagonal cutters because you don't know what kind of wires and so forth might be inside. Okay, so let's uh, dig right in. I've already cut the, uh, the scotch tape on the sides here. You'll want your mat knife for that. And uh, what I do as a collector, uh, I always try to peel off the tape because I notice if you leave the tape on there that um, it will eventually get so sticky it'll, it'll pick up the finish off the box. And we all like to uh, keep the box in good condition. So we'll open it right up here and see what we've got. Okay, that's some extra packaging in here. I see some, just some empty pieces of uh, cardboard. And then uh, down here we see the, the top of the helmet. Looks like there's um, this piece is just sort of keeping it from moving around. Let's see. It looks like this. Okay. I may have to just pull this thing out. Okay. That's interesting. Okay, so this opens up like this. So it looks like I can just grab the helmet now. You see. Okay, let's part. One of, one of, the, one of the parts here. Yeah. Another little piece, you know. And we have the uh, other part here. Move the box now away. All right, let's let's take a look at this helmet here. Get a little closer. Tighten up. Let's see. It's very. Very detailed. So it does look like uh, we are going to need our, our cutters. So we'll got some of these uh, restraining lines here. Okay, move that out of the way. Let's see, some packaging things that come off. Now this bottom piece is supposed to come off, so I'm trying to be careful with it. It's supposed to be magnetic. So, I'm not really sure how that comes off. You see there are some straps in the back here. See, and this would be, I guess, to help it uh, attach to your head. Get some of this 
very, very detailed. And then uh, there's another piece here, and I'm not really, not really sure what this is for. So we'll open that up, take a closer look at it. Okay. And then, of course, this does appear to be the helmet. Quite large, actually. It's a plastic out there. And so there, and I guess this would go on top like that. And since there was also a display case, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a little break here and, and read uh, some of the instructions. Okay, so I, I read the instructions, and it comes with this little handy instruction book. We'll get a little close up on that. And uh, inside, you have all the instructions that, that how to uh, replace the batteries, and also uh, you have all the step by step instructions for actually wearing the helmet. So I did discover that uh, after reading that, that you do need to uh, put batteries in it and, and you basically, these little clips here, they just pop off. You just, you just pull them back and they pop off. It's the same on the other side. So you know, just be careful you don't drop it and you know, just pop those off and you know, that really uh, removes this and then you, you are able to get to the battery compartment, which is right here. So here you can see, uh, here's the, the battery compartment, it's right here. You just use a screwdriver to, uh, a Phillips screwdriver to unscrew this, and it's best to grab this little, uh, this little case from the top. Don't try to pull it out from the bottom, it's almost impossible. You know, there's a little place you can stick your nail in here, and then that's going to come right out. Uh, you need to put the batteries in properly. You can see that uh, normally the spring uh, right over here is on the lid. You can see that. Uh, that's usually the negative side of the bottom of the battery. So we can see that when it goes there, that spring part is on top. So we're pretty sure that the battery is going to go in positive down. And then the other side is always, you know, normally the opposite. You could feel its, its spring is on the bottom there. So we'll just um, go ahead and put the, the through this little bouncy now because it's got the spring under it. So I will push it down. And I don't want to over tighten it because I don't want to strip it. So now, now that screw is in. Now it says there's a button. Okay, let me pull back a little bit, a little wider. It says there is a button over here. So now I'm going to press the button. And it makes the breathing, the iconic breathing sound uh, of a Darth Vader. So you press the button again. And it stops. Now I'm wondering if there's another, if you press it longer, does it do something else? No, it doesn't seem to do anything except that. And I don't think there are any other buttons on here uh, or any other sounds it makes. So the, the next thing to do would be to try, actually try to put it on. So uh, I, this, that is also in the instructions here. It tells you how to uh, put it on. And uh, I'm just gonna review them for a sec and because I wanna make sure I do it right for you. And then uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and continue the video. Okay, so what we discovered was that uh, this whole collar piece separates, just like it does in the movie, it separates from the mask part. So. It's magnetic, it just pulls apart, and it even makes a sound when you disconnect it, just like the film, uh, when uh, he's, he's in his pod, he remembers in his meditation pod, and there, uh, his helmet's uh, being removed, it kind of makes some, some air sounds. Anyway, so 
So this, this part comes off, so you put that aside. And then you've got this. Now you've got to put this on your neck, and you can't just put it on your head because you have to, you have to disconnect these little clips. Now I found that it's easier just to disconnect one side because it's really very difficult to get this back on. So this goes over your head, right? And then it's probably better if you get a friend to help you put this on because it's, well, that wasn't too bad this time. Okay, so then you've got the bottom piece, the collar, just like it was in the movie. And then this piece has a strap in the back, right? And it goes right over, okay? And you can see pretty good through it, as opposed to some of the costume masks, I can't see a thing. And then this has to reattach. And, and once again, I think maybe a friend would help, but I guess you can kind of, it's all magnetic. So the trick is getting it to connect properly. It's easier if you look in it. Let me, let me get, get closer to this, to the camera here. I can kind of see what I'm doing. Let's see. So this. Ah, did you hear that? Did you hear that sound? That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, so now I'm going to put the helmet on. Okay, hang on. Okay, so. Okay, here's the helmet. And, and once again, the helmet uh, is also magnetic. Inside, you can actually see the magnets. You see those there? Yeah. So then that's just going to go right on top here. Then we'll get a zoom in here a little tighter. Okay, and uh, you can see uh, now I've got the button back here. Uh, if you could find the button, uh, where is the button? You know, remember the button? <laughs> Not on the collar, here it is. There. So now I've got the, the breath sounds. I can see pretty clearly, which is very nice, and it's not, it's not fogging up. So now you can pretend to be Darth Vader. Go, I have you now, young Skywalker. Didn't do me one tell you, I am your father. The force is strong with this one. You can practice all your, your, uh, your Darth Vader uh, phrases, but I guess that's all it does. Uh, if you if you disconnect it, also it it will also make a noise when I when I pull this off. So you disconnect it from the collar. Oops. It's easier said than done, really. So yeah, this is yeah. Now I'm stuck. Here you go. Okay. Ah, uh, so thank you. So. Thank you very much, um, Star Wars and collectors alike. Uh, oh, Dad, I didn't show you this. This is going to fit. You put the collar back on it, and this fits under the back of it and holds the mask up after it's all assembled for display. So that's it. I'm pretty happy with it, frankly, and I think it's a great, uh, it's a good cosplay uh, helmet, and also it, uh, it's a great conversation piece. And it has, uh, you know, all the details. It's very well detailed and. Uh, the plastic is solid, it's good, and um, I highly recommend this uh, for my collector friends. And I really think it's gonna be in a few years, when they stop making it, in a few years, this is gonna be uh, quite a sought after item. So uh, thank you, thank you so much. And uh, until next time, until the next unboxing, may the force be with you.